building a consistent business, a jeunesse business. I just want to make you realize how to actually build a long-term and consistent jeunesse business. Before that, let me start. I'm not a person who is orientated to sales initially. Okay? I actually hate sales. Anybody can resonate to that? Anybody don't like sales? And don't like people selling you things? Yeah, me too. But as I realize, sales actually is the most rewarding business you can find. Okay? And network marketing is one of the fairest. And that's the reason why I move into it. Now, I wasn't without option. I'm a graduate um, computer engineer from University of London. Um, have working experience in industrial, as well as scholarship doing my MBA. Okay, I have a lot of reasons of going into many many business. I've also written softwares for more than 50 old companies in 17 industries. So network marketing is one of those. I have four companies that I wrote for. So I'm quite well versed with the compensation plan. Now, saying all this is not to impress you, but to let you know that I actually have a lot of options. I have a lot of options if I want to start any business or to work for any companies. But why do I choose network marketing? You have to really understand the potential of making a limitless, a boundaryless business and income. That's the reason why I'm in this business. Now, many people step into business without realizing what's the end for it. It's like not knowing what's the means to an end. But for me, I know exactly what I want. I want this business to be generating passive income for me, making everybody happy, including myself and my family, and making a lot of friends along the way and help a lot of people achieving greatness and success, great health, etc., etc. If you agree with what I said, could you say yes? Yes. If you like this business the same way, I think whatever I share with you would, would mean a lot. Okay? The first thing about setting up a business to me is actually mindset. If you want a long-term and consistent business, you have to start with the right mindset. Why do I say that? I want to build a building. The architect and the quantity surveyor will ask you, how tall is your building? How big is your building? What's the load? That determines the foundation that you're going to build. Now, if I'm going to build this as a long-term business, for sure I have to do everything in the right way. The right material, the right timing. Everything must be right. You agree with that? So, that also tells you that many people they step into a business and they disappear after three to four months, or maybe three to four weeks, or maybe three to four days. Why? Because their mindset is not right. Their mindset is like, can I step into the business, swing it for a while, and then move on to the next one? Now, you can obviously do that because nobody is stopping you. Neither can your parents. But if you keep doing that, you're going to create a habit in yourself that you're going to be like a grasshopper. You hop from every place to every place. Maybe a business to a business and relationship to a relationship. I don't know how you're going to lead your life, but I don't want it to be that way. Right? So when I build my business, I know it's going to be for long term. And I want the right people, the right concept, the right mentality, the right habit, the right practice, everything to me has to be right. Okay? So I think that's a very, very important starting point. So please tell someone next to you, mindset is a starting point. Tell them, mindset is a starting point. Mindset. <laughs> right. <clears throat> so what do you mean by a mindset? It's very simple today. Look, I've right Right here, I have a group of people on the right, a group of people on the left. Let's assume I have more people on my right. Now you have a new sponsor. It's very natural for you to put it on the left. 
Because why? You have your CME as well as a cycle. How many of you do that? Yeah, it's quite natural. But I don't do that. I would actually look at how could I team up so that they can work in resonance with each other. I put them in location, age group, hobby, and the way they work the business. Some work the business through cooking. I cook something, you cook something, and then we have a potluck, you know? So think about grouping. Think about getting the right people into the right group. Now, if you understand Jeunesse, including the product and compensation plan, I assure you, you want to build in the right way. Because there's opportunity behind a great product. Yeah? Opportunity behind a great product. Now, I know there are people who do funny things. Okay? It's like taking a beautiful business and they do it something else. Um, I would like to address something on that. Okay? If I may. The other day I was having lunch. And then I went round that restaurant two rounds. I couldn't find a parking place. Then I found a, a place. Then I saw there's one lot is drawn in blue with a man sitting down and with a wheel. You know what's that? It's a disabled parking lot. Yeah, you know that? And then there's two ladies discussing behind me and say, hey, um, I know somebody, you know, could get me this license and all that to, um, to be able to use that lot and park my car so I don't have to go round and round. And I, when I hear that, I, I really feel, felt a little bit upset because that lot is supposed to be for the disabled, right? For people who are not so fortunate. So if they drive, they find a better parking space, bigger space, they can get in and out easier. This is for their convenience. But then there are someone who try to abuse it, right? Being Billy, if you know me, I, I couldn't stand it anymore. My words are just like popping out from my mouth. You know what I did? I turned around. I say, um, if you want to park that lot, it's very easy. They say, how? You see, license and all that. I said, no, just amputate both legs. <laughs> amputate the legs and then you get the rights to park in that lot. Look, don't make a beautiful business ugly. Okay? When I say that, I say everyone comes into this business with a full set of benefits that will benefit you. Not only the product, but you're able to build a long-term and consistent business. Okay? By selling this, you actually rob away this opportunity from these people. That's not right. Okay? So for people who are outside, they say, oh, whoever is cheap, I will buy. I think that is wrong again. Yeah? Because you see, when you start doing, looking for cheap things, honestly, you are only building a thing called a cheap relationship. I don't want my relationship to be cheap. I'm not selling cheap products. I'm selling products for the benefit everybody. I want a, a top class product coupled with the right opportunity. If you agree, say yes. So I would urge, please go out and explain. There are lots of people who say, oh, whoever is cheaper, I get it. That's not right. Look into the opportunity. If you understand the opportunity, you understand the compensation plan, it's not cheaper product you're buying. It could be free. Yeah. Tell the one next to you, free is cheaper. Yeah, free is cheaper than cheaper. Right? And not only that, if you continue to build, it's going to grow. You're going to make profit. You're going to make a lot, a lot of um, benefits and touch more people around the world. Okay? The other thing about... In fact, I said the same thing in Singapore. I was given 45 minutes. Now I've got to kind of shorten and only have 20 minutes. And that's one thing that's running out. My voice. I have
had very bad sore throat. I wasn't speaking at all this morning. And I'm throwing it all out to you. It hurts. Okay? If I go voiceless, I'm sorry, I will say thank you for everyone for coming. I will tell you now, okay? But one very important point about building this business is continuous sponsoring and continuous contacting people. You cannot stop, okay? I took the advantage of this company who gives like free travel, but you still have to make a hundred points, right? You have to sponsor four person. So I took that as an advantage that every year I make it a point. Can I bring eight new people into this business? So even as a double diamond, I'm still bringing people in. Are you? You should not stop. Even if you have 50, even if you have 100, so what? I know in your mind, as I was mingling with some of you, you say, hey, look, I sign up people, but they don't want to do the business. Same here. <laughs> you think everyone will say, let's sign up, let's do the business. It doesn't happen that way. Then they ask me why they don't want a business, how would I know? I met one guy. He was really a romantic guy. He took up the phone. He said, you know, I haven't seen my girlfriend for some time, you know, but you know, that's the only way I can contact him is through phone. And he tried to be romantic. He said, hi darling, he said, um, if you're singing, please send in the song. Yeah, maybe I don't sound very romantic, right? If you're singing, please send me the song. Huh? If you're cooking, send me the aroma. And then the girlfriend turned around and said, I'm in the toilet. What do you want me to send you? <laughs> Look, when someone sign up, they don't pick up and run like you do. You have to give them time. That's why timing comes into play. But the most important thing is this, regardless of what they are, whether it's in the toilet, whether the credit card is, is um, saturated, it doesn't really matter. But when they come back, are you still in the business? Do you know, do you know that for those people who have stayed on a year, two years, three years and above, they're bound to have people to come back to the business when they initially tell you no. You agree to that? So please don't give up. You might find out someone who just want to use the product. It doesn't really matter because as long as you're still in the business for some reason, they will come back to you, okay? That's something that I want to tell you. It has to be consistent. Now, that's your action. It has to be consistent. But can your business be consistent? The answer is no. Your, your, in, your business can never be consistent like any other business. It will go up, it will go down. But the question is this, your average is high average or low average. The fluctuation cannot be so great. Right? So when people ask me, how do you build a consistent business? I don't build a consistent business. I want to build a growing business. I want an exploding business. But maybe you can't get an exploding business for this month. Then it becomes consistent. You understand that? So, if you require, let's say 20 groups or 10 groups to really work hard in order to achieve a rank, right? So can you just sustain with the 10 group? No, some group will fall off, some will grow. But why don't you continuously looking for new ones? Because honestly, I'm, I'm telling you, the new people will get excited, right? Now, I'm not stating any claims, but I know you guys have it in your heart, right? If someone comes back and tells you that their diabetic has improved, right? Someone who has 8 or 9 um, sugar level has actually dropped below 6. I think for the seasoned people, you say, I don't feel anything. I met people who have 11 and become 6 and below. They don't get excited anymore because you guys are old. I mean, sorry, not old. The, the seasoned players. But the new one will get very excited, isn't it? So I urge you to get new people because that is very important momentum that 
you can pop up and put cream and icing in your cakes, okay? And bringing new people will get excited, will bring excitement to the old ones who was existing on the tree. That's how you build a consistent business, right? So, um, I just got so many points, seriously, I don't know where should I start, okay? But what I'm saying is, as long as you continue to share your passion, okay? I want you to bring that word back, share your passion. If you share your passion, you're bound to attract people who share the same value with you. That's when your organization grows. When you share your passion, people will say, this is the type of leaders I want to follow. Okay? When you go out and see them, you have hope. You have hope that they will become one of your leaders. But that's not enough to build a consistent and long-term business. You have to do, 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 achieve, 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 until the day they actually see hope in you. They have to see hope that if they follow you, you can actually bring them somewhere. Yeah. So, in short, seeing hope in others will bring you out actions. Yeah, bring out actions. But only when others see hope in you, you bring out more results. Okay. So I will urge you on one thing: do not stop sponsoring. Okay. Do it the right way. Okay. Ignore all these people who do funny things, right? Um, um, abusing certain systems because you cannot take the rights from the people who sign up as a distributor. Okay? They have so much, so much more installed for them than your so little called cheap products. Okay? And last but not least, as you achieve, as you do more, as you share your passion, the great leaders will come to you. Okay? And that's where everything will change. I hope with a little um, build points, you can build a long-term and consistent business. Thank you.